comes in. Um, we had a lot of, if you will, quality control problems with, with fish that we were purchasing from commercial growers in the past. And generally, it's, it's a situation where people are going to bid on it, um, and we're going to be obligated to, to, within certain limits, go with at least one of the relatively low bids. The fish that we were acquiring before were coming from, I believe, southern Idaho or eastern Oregon. And even if they weren't coming from there, they'd be coming from Colorado or, um, you know, some other state that's considerably distant because those large-scale fish culture facilities for trout simply are a long ways from, from southern Nevada. Um, so, you know, there, it's a calculated risk. You can go that route, but there are problems with those. There's often problems with those fish that you have a hard time controlling in terms of the quality, and a, a truckload of dead fish doesn't do you any good at all. Well, no, if someone's not paying for truckload of dead fish, I mean, I, issues you... Uh, well, you know, you're not paying for the truckload of dead fish, but once you get that truckload of dead fish, it takes you a while to replace it. Yeah. And so it's difficult to run the kind of structured stocking operation we need to do. Uh, we've had a lot of challenges. I'm just telling you, we've had a lot of challenges with, with private growers because of the distance those fish have to come. Has that been looked at in, re in recent years? Um, and this facility, I wish I had a good suggestion for you about this, but I plan to come out um, Stuff, it's, so. it's certainly something we can analyze. You know, we can do that analysis. It doesn't, you know, help us with the problem of what we do with the facility, but it's something that we can look at. Certainly. Thank you, Wallace. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just for comparison, 2010, um, Utah was 373 a pound. Just throwing that out there for. Commissioner McBeth. Um, Kim, um, we get uh, the report uh, on the uh, economic impact of, um, I think it comes from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Does that have a fisheries component to it? Uh, yes, it does, and it just came out in 2011, and I received an email today with some preliminary information. We'll just get that out, out to, to all. I, I think uh, hunting was up 11%, uh, fishing was up 9% nationwide, and uh, the, the total bill it was somewhere to the tune of about six billion dollars to the economy of this nation for fishing alone nine billion uh, for uh, for hunting so it's a significant uh, thing I forwarded to the governor's office I wanted them to surely understand what it means to the economy of the state um, the bat 2006 um, survey showed that it was um, a, 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 about well Wildlife viewing was six hundred million dollars, and about four hundred million for fishing and hunting. So it's a billion dollars to the, sta the state uh, for its economy. So that rivals agriculture in the state, frankly. And, and would you have data? Uh, would the department have data on, uh, for instance, the number of licenses sold, or so that somehow could be? Because I know there was a stamp mm -hmm. uh, that was mm -hmm. uh, for uh, the Colorado River system that people had to buy uh, to be able to fish there, and so. Uh, could we get some data on what, what it used to be as opposed to what it is now to kind of gauge what uh, we're talking about? And, and, I, I'd and have to ask. Uh, we keep mm -hmm. track? Um, I believe one of the issues there with, with, with fishing licenses, with regular fishing licenses, both resident and non-resident, and I think the Colorado River stamp, that's relatively easy. For trout stamps, as I recall, that's a little bit more difficult because at least historically, they weren't what we call an accountable document, so they weren't necessarily recorded by county. Um, but it, that may not necessarily be true now that we've gone to some of these new systems. So I'm not sure for the trout stamp what we can track, but for the other license categories, I think, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So that has changed since we looked at this several years ago. Any other questions? Just, just one more comment on those, and that the, the Colorado River stamp um, only applies if you're fishing on the water or from the Arizona shoreline. Other, you don't need it if you're only shore angling from the Nevada side. So. While I think that's a valuable piece of information, it may not necessarily totally characterize the type of fishery we had with the winter trout stocking 
because a lot of that was shore angling from the Nevada side, but it still would be a useful piece of information. And I think it would be hard to track license sale data on the fishing on the river because Arizona lowered their license enough there for a while and Nevada residents were buying that Arizona license because it was cheaper that way. And now that all happened about the same time. Yeah. So, so, but, but it, it's certainly something we can see what, we, what kind of numbers, what we can come up with with some research. When I toured the facility years ago with former commissioner Jim Jeffers, uh, with the water, temperature, and everything, and he has a wildlife background, he basically said it was trying to produce fish on life on a life support system. Uh, just not very economical way to produce fish. And wish we could go back 15 years and not do it. But it's there now. Well, I wish we could go back 15 years and the lake could come back up to yeah to, to, to full pool elevation. No quaggas yeah. and everything else. Any other questions? Any public comment? Come on. Gil? For the record, Gil Yannick speaking for myself. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people come to our meeting and ask about what's going on with the hatchery down in, here in Las Vegas, in Southern California, Nevada. And, you know, we, we get inputs periodically from the department about what they're trying to do and I, I think we got to you know it's like the old adage you got to fish or cut bait I mean we stuck 17 million dollars into that structure and we find out that we don't have cool enough water and now we got quagga mussels and we got to do put a pipeline of, a, of you know, so many miles to get there and a power station and this I mean it's I think it's time to put the numbers together and make a decision whether you're going to shut this facility down because for six years, it's been dragging on and on and on. And I think the public, you know, we have a fiduciary responsibility to the public. This is their money. And what are we doing with it? I mean, I know we've got a skeleton crew. We don't have, we're doing research. We're doing this, we're doing that. Nobody will take our fish because it could be contaminated. We've got to prove that to the rest of the world. I, I don't want to be a naysayer, but I think we, we've, spent a lot of time and money trying to solve this problem and either we put a committee together and, and, and do it right put the numbers and uh, I think you know Commissioner Young was getting to that point I think uh, let's let's find out what the cost of this is if we can find a, a solution because right now I don't think anybody has a salute a good solution to quagga muscle issue uh, or the temperature issue. Southern Nevada Water Authority is playing games with us sometimes. Um, and, and I think the sportsmen and the rest of the non-sportsmen who are picking up the tab, they're paying on that bond. Uh, I, I think we owe them, you know, some answer. Either we're going to do this, we've got to plan how to get there and what it's going to cost and where we're going to get the money from or just cut our losses. Come on up. Now for the record, Mike Reese with the uh, Clark County Cab. Um, we did bring this up at our meeting and I'd like to see this put on as an agenda item for the next month as well. Uh, I'd like to, uh, Chairman Rob, I'd like to see a former task force, just like we did the trapping committee. Let's look at this. Um, I know that when the original numbers started coming on out, as with all projects here in Las Vegas, whether it's a high rise or whatever, the costs are exuberant as you're starting it because it's kind of a speculation. Right now, uh, Southern Nevada is going through with the pipe. They're putting it in. The equipment's there. They're basically saying, okay, you know what? Some of these costs could probably be lowered because we've already moved in. We're putting the pipe in whether you guys tap into it or not. So now just the fact of tapping into it, uh, Mark Jensen with Southern Nevada uh, water is waiting for a phone call. So Mike Pergola on our cab has already made these introductions. Uh, we we're going to try to get him to our cab meeting. He couldn't, but I'd like to see this presentation made to the Clark County cab and use it as a starting point. Just use it as a launching board and get in. And, like they say, let's get the facts down, see where we're at, and see what we can do. Five dollars a pound sounds like a lot, but you go down to Bass Boat Shops and you buy a bass boat, 
10,000 bucks for fishing boat, guess how much the state gets in sales tax? That doesn't include every time that guy goes and uses it, registers it, and stimulates the economy down here. I think that's the part that people are looking at. And you know, you, you mitigate $1.25 a pound, wow, somebody buys a $20,000 boat. Now you go get 20 guys, 40 guys, and start buying them that haven't had them in a long time, and now there's a reason to. Would Arizona buy in to help them with this? Because they get to help reap some of the benefits because these are waters are going in between the two states. So I'm kind of naive on what was happening when we did the bonds on that, but let's call them up. We want to activate this again and, and get it going. What part can you guys play because we border the states? Um, I would ask that we keep this on an agenda item for next month. Thank you. Any other public comment? Say no, I'll bring it back to commission. Any more commission comment? All right, moving on. 10A, 